GP50 offers a variety of digitally field adjustable products, including the Model 470 Field Adjustable Wico Hammer Union Pressure Transmitter. Units like the Model 470 allow you to configure the transmitter using your computer's USB port with a heart dongle and a free GP50 software program. You also have the option of using a heart communicator as well as an Android-based app coupled to the USB heart dongle. The GP50 software allows the user to configure, calibrate, read, and diagnose the device. In order to utilize the GP50 configuration software, you will need to hook up the transmitter utilizing a 250 ohm resistor, the heart USB dongle, a power supply, and PC or laptop. An optional multimeter can also be used in the loop to indicate the milliamp reading. With the GP50 configuration software installed, run the program and then plug your heart USB modem into your computer's USB port. First, select the COM port drop-down button, which typically will detect the USB port the transmitter is plugged into. After selecting the COM port, the indicator box near the upper right will indicate if connected. If it's blank, you are not connected and need to select another COM port. It will also show the unit's serial number and factory calibration date. After you are connected, selecting the Take Reading button will indicate the unit's zero reading in milliamps and if a new unit should be within the zero reading spec, typically 4 milliamps. If the zero is not reading correctly at zero pressure, you can re-zero the device with the auto zero button. Be sure that you have the correct zero pressure applied to the device. For example, if the unit has a zero set to atmospheric pressure or gauge pressure, you can pick the auto zero at zero PSIG. If the zero was calibrated at full vac or roughly negative 14.7 psi, you need to ensure you have a full vacuum on the transmitter before re-zeroing the device. Now choose the take reading button and the zero reading should be reset to the calibrated zero reading in milliamps. From this main screen, you can set the negative and positive saturation points, set your shunt calibration value, and restore to factory settings. There is also a set fixed output current option that allows you to hold the milliamp output value at a fixed set point. For example, if you desired a 20 milliamp signal continually for a full cycle test, this can be entered here. This will hold the unit's output at that value until it is set to 0 milliamps. On the Advanced tab, you can trim the unit's zero and span as well as rearrange the unit. You can also re-zero the RTD and set a dampening value in seconds. Within the Expert tab, the unit can be recalibrated with a known pressure source, linearized, or adjust the thermal compensation. We recommend factory training to make changes to these settings. The peak recording option is off by default. When selected, it allows the unit to capture the peak pressure readings in PSI, as well as the high and low internal temperature readings in degrees Fahrenheit. We recommend this only be used for diagnostic purposes, as it can affect configuration settings. It's best to consult the factory before turning this option on. The Diagnostics tab provides information about the transmitter's operating state, the temperature reading, diagnostics information, and pressure range is retrieved here to ensure the unit is operating properly. The Write Calibration Dates and Data option allows you to enter a date and the calibration data if a calibration was performed in the field. This data is then stored in the unit. You may enter two more calibration dates and data periods. After entering the calibration data line number, date, and the milliamp readings, you can then go to the read calibration field and show the data that is being stored. For more information regarding the GP50 Model 470 Field Adjustable Wico Hammer Union Transmitter or software, please contact us at sales at gp50.com.